Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am very, very excited because I did finally receive my A Nightmare on Elm Street X Glamlight collection. I didn't buy the full collection because it was just way too expensive, but I did pick and choose what I wanted from the collection. Let's just go in one at a time. The first thing I'm pulling out of here is the Chest of Souls Blush Trio. The Blush Trio retails for $18. Our Nightmare on Elm Street Blush Trio gives your cheeks a fiery glow sending shivers down your spine each time you use it as you get color payoff that's to die for. Blend and build to your soul's desire with this highly pigmented long-lasting formula and unleash your creativity one word hypnotic. You have a very wearable pink shade in here. I will swatch it, so you'll probably be seeing swatches. It's like a very nice peachy pinky kind of shade, a more red kind of shade, and like a more brownie red kind of color. This one's really pretty, kind of matches the packaging here. I'm excited to try this out. The next thing I'm pulling out of here is the Nightmare on Elm Street Killer Lip Oil. I love this packaging, so fun. Add a dose of blood red alert to your lips with this nightmarishly delicious lip oil shade. Like the stuff of dreams and nightmares, your lips will captivate and hypnotize all who dare to look upon them. Our ultra glossy formula is designed to keep your lips feeling soft and hydrated even as you prowl through the darkest corners of your nightmares. Is this scentless? There's no sense to it. Pretty clear, I want to say. There's barely any tints to this it's cute i like the texture it's not too oily it's not too sticky it's not too glossy i feel like it's just like the perfect in between feels very hydrating on the lips as it says and i'm excited the nightmare on elm street killer lip oil retails for ten dollars the next thing i'm going to be pulling out of here is the a nightmare on elm street freddy krueger lipstick duo this does retail for twenty dollars but you do get two lipsticks and i love this little packaging this is so cute i wish they had shades they don't have shades on the bottom but i, I wish they were individually like shade names so i knew like which shade i'm using oh that's pretty it's more of like a cool toned pinky color that's stunning and i love the packaging of this lipstick it's different from the other lipstick tubes i've gotten from the horror line so it's nice to have something that looks a little different and it does have freddy on there it's really fun i really love the packaging of the lipsticks and then this next one is like his sweater and it has like the the glove and this bullet has little spiders all over it that's so cute let me lip swatch the lipsticks. Let's start with the darker shade, of course, because who knows what this is going to look like as I'm removing it. The coverage is there. Coverage is definitely there. Don't worry about the lip line too much. I don't love the way the lipstick smells, but I love the way it looks with my sweater. This is perfect for fall, especially now. I love this, like, dark brown. Thank God there's a lip oil in this collection because my poor lips... <laughs> I'm gonna try the like more pinky shade now. That's really pretty. I like both. I think I'm I'm glad I picked up both. I think I would use this one a lot. It's like a very nudie pink. It's a very much more cool toned leaning nudie pink and I love it. I think with a brown lip liner, this beautiful for the fall time, but that brown also really pretty for the fall time they knew what they were doing very comfortable as well they're not really accentuating dryness on my lips i think the jason one really really did accentuate the dryness on my lips these did not for some reason put more of the lip oil on for my poor lips all right the last thing i purchased was the nightmare on elm street palette bundle which came with both palettes we have the a nightmare on elm street freddy krueger palette and we have the nightmare on elm street dream master palette bundle for both was 44 dollars but each palette separately retails for 24 dollars 
starting with the Freddy Krueger palette, introducing the ultimate collaboration inspired by the sinister world of Freddy Krueger. Fall into a dream that fusses beauty and terror and unleashes your inner horror goddess with the limited edition Nightmare on Elm Street X Glamlight palette collaboration inspired by the Springwood slasher. This eerily captivating palette features grungy greens and browns to create the most daring looks. The shimmers in here look so, so soft and pretty. I'm so excited. And then we also have the Dream Master palette. Introducing the Dream Master palette and Bark in our most spine-chilling collaboration, a Nightmare on Elm Street X Glam Light. Unleash your inner dark glamour and create entrancing looks that will haunt your dreams. Enter the realm of Freddy Krueger with 10 highly pigmented shades consisting of velvety smooth mattes and glistening metallics that capture the haunting essence of the chilling world of Elm Street. The color story features an array of deep maroons, sultry burgundies, alongside haunting grays and a true black. Each shade has been designed to blend seamlessly and deliver intense color payoff for a truly captivating look. This palette gives you the perfect shades to craft wickedly enchanting looks. Let your creativity flow into the dark side. Not my color story. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. This is not my color story, but I love glam light. So I'm like, I, I like the ghost face. So let me see how I feel about this. Very intimidating, but I love this silver in here. I think that's a very nice inclusion. So I'm going to prime my eyes and we can get started on the two looks with each of these palettes. All right, you guys, I'm gonna start with the Dream Master palette because this one is more intimidating to me. I'm gonna start with the shade Midnight in this palette. It's like a blood red. And I'm gonna start packing this on my crease. It has like kind of like a purple undertone. I'm trying to blend the Midnight Red shade just with a blending brush. I'm gonna take that same blending brush. I'm gonna take this shade called Chest of Souls and I'm gonna put that in the inner portion. I'm gonna go into this shade called Terror and I'm gonna deepen up the outer edge not seeing enough of a difference that midnight shade is just too dark for the shade so i think i'm gonna mix these two the black and the red just to make it a little darker because i feel like it's not giving me enough definition i'm going to pop on some nyx glitter primer onto my lid i'm gonna take a sigma e54 brush just to see how these shimmers pick up with a brush and i want to take this shade called don't fall asleep and i guess we're just gonna cover everything we just did with that because it is much darker than everything else. The next shade I am going to take is called Dream Warrior. It's this beautiful red in the center. The next shade I want to take is called Nightmare right here. I feel like this one's really pretty, really unique actually. I think I want to tap that over Dream Warrior. I want to see like how that would look. I'm going to take that blending brush and I'm just going to blend everything together. And this is my look with the Nightmare on Elm Street X Glam Light Dream Master palette. It's not my favorite look. I'm not even gonna front. I don't know what it is. Maybe we can add Springwood Slasher as like a highlight. We're gonna add this in the inner corner and the brow bone just as like a little something. I mean, the silver in this little palette is so, so pretty. And I feel like it can work as like a topper as well. You know, you can like lightly tap it over each shade and it will like look good. So I really like that as a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. I think it did add to the look. I'm going to line my top lash line with the shade Villain just so I can have my lashes blend better. For lashes, I'm going to go into the Kiss Legacy lashes and I will be right back. All right, I have primed my eyes and we can use the Freddy Krueger palette now. This is right up my alley. All greens. We love it. I'm going to take a Sigma E25 blending brush and I think I am going to take the shade Maniac right here. And this is going right on my crease. And I'm going to leave that inner portion kind of empty. I'm going to take a Sigma E40 and I'm just going to blend that out. To blend this out even more, I'm going to take this shade called Elm Street. I'm trying to see if I can get this shade to not be on my eyebrow like 
that red is on this eye i don't love that so i'm trying not to go crazy kind of bringing the shade elm street into my inner portion and then blending it into that shade called maniac trying to get these edges right i'm gonna go into the shade called asylum and i'm gonna use this to deepen up the entire eye look right on that outer corner and then i'm gonna go back into that blending brush and just make sure all this is nice and blended i like greens a lot more than reds so i'm obviously preferring the freddy krueger palette but right now i'm going to take my nyx glitter primer i'm gonna put that all over my lid so we can see what shimmers i'm gonna go into i'm gonna take a sigma e54 medium sweeper brush and i'm going to take this shade called vengeance and i'm gonna put this on the end of my eye it has it's like a a really dark dark green with like shimmer in it i'm going to take the shade boiler room and i'm going to put that right next to the shade vengeance i'm going to take a clean e54 and i'm going to take the shade killer and that is going in the inner portion this one's like a dual chrome stunning to line my top lash line i'm gonna go into this black shade called burn I'm just using a flat definer brush to do this. Alrighty, and here is look number two completed. I am going to put on some lashes and I will be right back. All right, you guys, and here are the finished eye looks. I love the green side a lot more than this side, but they're both really fun and I really like them. The red's just not my style. Let's go into this blush trio. I don't know what shade to take. I think I'm gonna take this one on the end which i'm so scared because like i don't want it to be too dark and i'm just gonna start patting it into my cheek that is so pretty let's try the peachy pink shade on this side <laughs> let me wipe the brush off just a tad just so we don't have any cross contamination the blushes are super pigmented they like stain the brushes like really Oh, this pink shade is so pretty for like every day. Much more wearable than that like darker color, but you can see the difference. This one's like very in your face and this one's very light. I'm going to add a little bit of the other shade to this one just so it's not like too crazy. I really like the blushes. I'm really glad I got the little trio because at first I really wasn't. I was like, I don't need any more blush and I really don't. But the packaging of this is so fun. I love A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's one of my favorites because of the story of it. I think the storyline to it is so good. And it creeped me out as a kid. And let's get into the lippy. I am going to wear the more wearable pink one, but I am going to use a brown lip liner. This one's from Hard Candy. It is the Insta Pout lip liner in the shade Boyfriend. I've been loving this lip liner and I love it even more because it has like a brush on the other end. So you can easily like blend your lip liner out. And I find that to be such like a good thing to have let's go it's the lippies oh my god we're taking the pinky one and this is going like right in the center that's so pretty i love this shade especially with that lip liner that's so pretty i love it and last but not least we have to go and top the entire lip combo off with the lip oil plus my lips are dry so it's a win-win plus this isn't really a lip oil i would wear on its own i don't think I have others that I would prefer, but like on top of the combo, I love it so much. If you have the lippies from this, I think this lip liner would look so good with both of the lipsticks because it's a brown, so I feel like you can just use it with anything and it looks good. A win and a win. <laughs> so what did I think of the a Nightmare on Elm Street X Glamlight Collection. Let's start with the palettes, of course. So I did buy both palettes in a bundle for $44. Each palette separately is $24. I enjoyed the green palette a lot. I feel like if you can only get one, I feel like a lot of people's favorites would be the green. I know the red was thrown in here because Freddy Krueger is known for the green and the red. Sweater, that's the vibes, you know. But for me personally, I am so so not comfortable with playing with red eyeshadow so this is a way out of my comfort zone i feel like for halloween i would bust this out 
for Valentine's Day, I might bust this out. I really love the formula in here. Super pigmented, like way pigmented. Like you need like the tiniest little bit. Midnight and Terror, I feel like you would think the shade would be able to deepen up this shade. It was not able to. So I did have to dip into the black in this palette. I also really loved this shade called Don't Fall Asleep. I think it's so unique. It's like this black with like red glitter. Stunning. The shade Nightmare on here is kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of like a fire. If you liked the Beetlejuice palette with Melt Cosmetics, I feel like this is a little dupe of that palette. I don't have that palette. I don't have the Beetlejuice palette either, but I really did enjoy this palette it even though I'm not a fan of reds. I don't want to say that I just I'm not a fan of it. I'm just not a, comfortable with using red. So if you can only get one, I feel like the Freddy Krueger one is the best bet here. Blushes are super pigmented. A little goes a long way. I feel like instead of using a denser brush like this, maybe using more of like a floppy brush like this would help you. This one's like much more fluffy, so I feel like it'll pick up less product and disperse it better than this kind of brush would. So keep that in mind with these. I did not use the center shade because honestly, it just looks really scary, but I will. I will and I will report back. I will also report back to let you know if this Dream Master palette stains my eyes because... The Siren Sunset collection stained my eyes for like two days. It was wild. My grandma was like, are you sick? <laughs> and I was like, no, grandma. I'm, I'm fine. I literally, I just got off of being sick. I'm fine. The last item I picked up were the lipsticks. I picked these up on a whim. I wasn't going to pick these up because I have enough Glamlight lip products. And I'm like, mm, you know, like how many of these things do I need? I'm really happy I picked these up. Not only is the lipstick bullet just so awesome and cool, the design on the lipsticks is also just super cool. And I think the color options that they chose were really, really good. I did think a lip liner would have been awesome with these lipsticks, specifically a brown as I am currently wearing to balance off like the tones of the lipsticks and the crazy colors on the eyes. I feel like a lip liner would have really been just like a nice little dude, like a trio in here with a brown lip liner would have been nice. But I mean, how many brown lip liners do we have? Blah, 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 you know? It's just like a little, a little note that I would have liked. And then the lip oil actually surprised me. I didn't think I'd like this enough. I love this. I can't wait to continue using this on top of all of my lip combos. I think that this is perfect for that. It has no scent. The tint is so light that it makes it almost clear. And I have others that give my lips more of a tint. So I would prefer to wear those alone rather than this one. So I feel like this one would be great just to top over any lip combos that I may want. So yeah. I'm happy with this. I think it was worth the price. Remember to use discount codes on collections because these things keep getting more and more expensive. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed everything and I had a lot of fun playing with everything. That is it for today's video. Let me know, did you like this collection? Are you tired of Glamlight collections? Let me know. I did order the foodie box from Glamlight. I'm excited to see what comes inside. If I have any repeats, I will go ahead and give them away to you guys. I wanted to see if I'd have items from it already. I wanted to see. We'll see all about it <laughs> when it gets here. I'm so behind on filming, so bear with me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and liking the videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. My Glamlight and Freddy collection. My Glamlight and... My Nightmare on Elm Street X. I love this packaging. That's so fun. It says our nightmare. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to say. Add a dose of blood red allure to your lips with this nightmare. With the Freddy Krueger. Sorry. Fall into a dream that fusses beauty and terror and unleash your inner horror goodness. Consisting. Oh, these fucking palettes are so hard to get into.
a blending blush. Well, this look took a dramatic fucking turn. Well, fuck that. And this is my look with the nightmare dream. All right, I primed my eyes and then we can get started on the second eye look with Freddy Krueger's palette. Okay, the rest is just like a little scary for me, it's fine. I kind of want to take a different shade on the other eye. So what did I think of the Nightmare? Overall, I do rate the collection a...